at six. It's being called a job killer just a few months after Governor Brown signed a bill that would raise the minimum wage for Californians. San Diego's interim mayor, Todd Gloria, is pushing for another local wage increase. But a local economics professor said it would create a positive ripple effect for our tourism-based economy. No one who works full time should have to live in poverty. Interim Mayor Todd Gloria pushed for a higher minimum wage for San Diegans in his State of the City address last week. The high cost of living, coupled with growing income inequality, is a threat to our ability to build a great city. Gloria wants to see wages even higher than what Governor Brown just signed into law for all Californians. In July, wages will go from eight to nine dollars an hour, and then will go up again to ten dollars in January 2016. I think there are going to be some winners and losers. We went to USD economics professor Alan Jin to ask him his thoughts about all these wage increases. People have more money to spend, and so they'll go out and and they'll spend that. That'll give a boost. To the economy. He says jobs in San Diego's tourism industry saw the most growth in 2013, and he believes the trend will continue this year. One problem is that a lot of those jobs tend to be lower, lower paying jobs. But Mark Arabo, president of the Neighborhood Market Association, believes raising the minimum wage would be a disaster for the 2,300 small businesses he represents around the state. Small businesses in the city of San Diego are working on razor thin margins. So when you increase the minimum wage again, what's going to happen is you're going to have layoffs, they're either going to close their, their doors or move to the county of San Diego. Arabo says if San Diego moves forward with another wage increase, he'll be asking city leaders to exempt small businesses with 50 or fewer employees. Now, some Los Angeles City Council members plan to introduce a motion to raise the minimum wage to $15.37 an hour. If that passes, that would be the highest minimum wage in the country.